Resurrection, the message of love. Nothing can hurt us when we listen to the true voice, the true reasoning deep in our heart. So now you may listen to some thoughts which might be new for you, but in reality you know them already because they are true. In the truth we are united forever. And here we are singing. We are united in the name of God. This is very true. But it seems to be there are different persons, different beings. Singing together, is that true? It seems to be. But in the depths we have to know there's only one spirit forever. We are one united being. This is a message. Jesus, our brother, wanted to give us. Not that we have to die, but we have to die from our wrong identification. And you know why? Because we are so beautiful, so unlimited. The true creation, one holy son, one holy being, one holy self. Let us celebrate, now and here, the resurrection. Through truth, through love, through acceptance, who we are. We open our heart wide to the light in us, to the being in us, to the heaven in us, and call Jesus and all the resurrected brothers awakened to cooperate us together with the Holy Spirit to show us the path to truth, the path to peace, now here in this world. So we celebrate this Easter 2011, an opening for the Tao to heaven in ourself. Here and now in this world, we celebrate the harmony of the whole universe in unity, together with you, with me, with all. What a beautiful music. It's opening the heart and also the spirit. But there is behind all this another art, the art of truth. Jesus has recognized that the beauty of the world in reality cannot give us anything at all. But to be and to be real means to understand that beyond all those scenes of beauty is the truth, the true world, untouched by darkness, untouched by misery. So here we are together and sing in glory, praising God and praising Christ. But what does the message of Jesus really bring to us? He wants that we see the beauty 
of God in us and in everyone around us and in this way celebrate a new awakening of the Spirit of the whole unlimited Son of God. Who is this? It's you, it's me, it's everyone together. And that was a scene, a reality. There was no crucifixion at all. But Jesus was aware that he is one with God and one with all. In this consciousness, nobody can kill the Son of God, which we are all together. Let us celebrate here and now the oneness. And this is a new, very new and old perception, the oneness of love. Let's unite our hearts, our thoughts, and forgive all what we thought before and just open up to the beauty in us which we see in all together with Jesus and Christ. Let us open up our hearts and ask our Creator to join us who has never left us. Just be real again, he says, is calling us through his voice, the voice of love coming from the depths of our spirit. This is our teacher, a soft voice of joy, of peace, of life. Life is greatness, life is joy. We are not separate, we cannot die. We are the sons of God and we are one. Let's go together, unite. My brother, give me your hand and I give you mine. Just be and be free. Open up. What a beauty. Who we are really all together. Just let go all desires. Whatever you thought you should have, let it go and believe that the Father who loves you so much knows what you need. He knows who you are. He has created you. But we in this world have totally forgotten what a beauty is in us that God himself resides in our spirit. So let us open together the door. We cannot do it alone. It's impossible. But there's one. One who has shown in practical. Through his demonstration, there is no crucifixion, but resurrection to life, to joy, to unlimited being. So Jesus has really shown us a pass and he has promised he is still with us. He never leaves us. He will be there as long as necessary for all of us to awaken from the darkness and the hate because this is not us. The ego has nothing to do with you and me. We are love. We are free. Let us not listen to the wrong voice we made. It always tries to speak first, but now it's too late. We recognized that love is our reality and life and joy and beauty. 
This is a resurrection, it's a message, and now we have the duty to give this joy to all. Everyone is my brother, and might they sleep and stumble around. I should really understand with mercy. I need my brother. Only together we come out of this darkness. So I call now together with God and the true reasoning, the love in us, and Jesus, and all the beautiful brothers who realize the truth in this universe. Together with them, we call all our brothers. Come, be happy, join us in this beautiful resurrection to life, to reality, to be in God again and free. Thank you, Father. Thank you.